This is a uh, Rising Angels, and as far as I can tell, this is a recent to Steam, although not recent. I think it's a well, year old maybe. This is Kakels and Yuri, Yuri Kakels. So it's got to be awesome, right? So uh, we're playing this because I'm still waiting for the uh, next part, the next episode of uh, Ace Academy. Because you see, it should be out soon, really soon, maybe in a week or two. I can't give you guys a certain date until then, so we just got to wait. So in the meantime, we have this. It's a pretty catchy song, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't voiced, so I'll be winging it as best I can. Dearest Father, I hope you get this message before you leave on your expedition with the Maraki Marakia Institute. If you don't, I hope that this message above this one is the one where I tell you I made it. Ah, above this one is in, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been this nervous before. It's strange, there's nothing to worry about, and yet I'm borderline panicking. At least, I'm not like that elf girl sitting behind me, those fucking elves. This fucking knife is. She's constantly fidgeting and muttering about how she hates space travel. Doesn't she realise this is the shuttle to the Space Sector Academy? Maybe she should get off at the next stop. Ah, forgive me, that joke fails, seeing as the next stop is the Academy. I'm still trying to get this humour thing down. Oh, actual people, sometimes I forget that there's more than animals and the holograms on the net. Oop. You're right. Uh, am I catching the mouse? No, I'm not. You're right. I don't know if I'm prepared for dealing with others. Wait, is this a conversation? No, it's not. It's okay. It's all, it's all one letter. But there's, there's no time like the present. I hope I make it. The recruiter promised me a massive bonus to become a xenobiologist. I've already got the trip to the ruins of Chicago planned out with the money. Damn Chicago. I wonder what happened there. I wonder if the other cadets like learning. I can't imagine pilots being particularly brainy, not with the rate they seem to be going through them. Only idiots would become combat pilots in a, such a senseless war, which is why I'm joining the academy. Because I'm worried I'll be ostracized. Because there'll be no chance whatsoever of me ever being on the front line if I join the military academy if some shit goes bad, right? Oh, uh, is, this, is this me or someone else? I'm worried I'll end up being ostracized. Huh? Ostrages? Got to go. Love. Faye. Was that Ostrages? I don't know. Ah. I tuck my data pad back into my bag. An elf with short lime green hair is hovering over my shoulder like an annoying... Uh, shellfly. What's a shellfly? That's oh, pretty rude to spy over someone's shoulder. So, so this, this is here. See, see that, that, that kitty? Yeah, yeah. Where, where the kitty? Ah. Sorry. She hops out of a perch behind me and then drops into the seat next to mine. Who are you sending that to? You should already know from your spying. Oh yeah, y your dad. Yes, now is there some particular mystery has been solved? Is there something else I can help you with? Oh, I'm bored. Well, Want to chat? The first person on this trip who wants to talk to me. This could be interesting. Oh yeah, I guess so. Well, what do you want to talk about? Ah. Uh... Wow, I really was expecting you to shoot me down. We could talk about stuff. How about our introductions first, then stuff. Yeah, my name is Yoi Mono. I'm a Trelawney Ranger. I'm 17 years old. My birthday is March 17th and I don't own a bow. My favorite food is a nice salad. I thought introductions only consisted of a name. I need any pertinent information to the situation. Have I been doing it wrong? Wow, that sounded really stupid. I once owned a really cute cat named Bubbles. I flew in a hot air balloon over the Olsha continent once. My favourite number is 18. She's still going on with no apparent intention of stopping. Nothing has any connecting factors, but she's still rambling on. I really hope that everyone else doesn't rattle on like this. I really hope that everyone else doesn't rattle on like her. It will drive me crazy. I wear size 2 jeans. I really hate being in spaceships. Ah, chance to jump in. You hate spaceships. And you're joining the space sector. Yeah, they made me a pilot. I only have a two-year contract. A two? They made me promise five. It's part of the cultural exchange program for the Rangers and the Directorship. 
I got the lucky draw out of being the one shoved into the metal tube and let out space to die. You seem upset about it. I, I do? Yeah, a little. Yeah, I'm not really that mad. I actually wanted to come. Ooh. Such a strange, strange elf. Well, I think I really need to go ahead and sit down now. Instructor man is looking really angry. i got to be honest, I'm, I have no idea how these characters are supposed to be voiced yet because I've played nothing of the game, so I'm going to be winging it. They might change a bit as I go, and I'm not exactly an actor, so... Promise to talk more when we get there? Yeah, I guess so. Bye. I, I, I totally forgot. Oh, what's your name? Faye. See you on the other side, Faye. Yeah, I don't even remember her name. All I got was this this ramble of rambling. I, I'd like to say the trip was memorable, but I sort of fell asleep the second I found my seat on the bus. I remember an elk bugging me at one of the transfer stops, but uh, before I can comprehend what's happening, a sharp voice bellows for all of us to get off the bus and onto the grounds. Wakey, wakey, Faye. Huh? Where well, there? You might want to move out before the instructors come after us. Where? Well, much of a morning person, are you? Yeah, excuse me, are all the cadets are required to- Yeah, yeah, we heard you. Hey, she's an instructor, you should be uh, more respectful. She's not- she's not even wearing a uniform, Fei Fei. That's- that's right, so... Could you please- What? Please what? I- I think she wants us to get off the bus. Oh, right. Okay, so this is the Kajiri, uh, Katajian, I think that's right, Katajian Space Academy. For being a military academy, it seems rather normal. I was expecting to see bombs and fighters and space thingies. This looks more like another Mariaki Institute affiliate. The weather is nicer than most of the little universities I've been to though. No freezing snows, no blistering deserts, no barren wastelands. The wind is light, but very refreshing after being stuck in that awful ship and bus. With the bright sun overhead, it almost feels more welcoming. Ah, get out of my way, fuzzy. What? Oh, sorry. I don't know who this is yet, so I'll figure it out in a sec. Ah, get out of my way, fuzzy. Fairly muscular human shoves past me, knocking me to my feet. Didn't he notice me standing there? There's not a whole lot of people. He could have gone around. Hey, what gives? Excuse me, scrub. Are you going to apologize or am I going to make you? Threatening your betters on the first date? Not very smart. And you're not very pleasant. I'd be... Oh, there's this... Jesus Christ, there's a lot of voices for me to do here. This is Major Brumford, huh? Who's Major Brumford? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, it's the elf. Gosh, what, what's a Major Brumford voice sound like? I don't know, like, I, I'd be careful biting off more than you can chew. I wouldn't mind throwing out a couple of fighting cadets on their first day. Yep, yeah, sorry, sir. No, just get in line, mutts. What'd you just say? Hey, hey, what did you mean by that? Ah, he's a horrible racist jerk. I guess we should get in line before that instructor jumps us. Do you think he's serious about throwing us out if we cause trouble? No way, you're too cute to throw out. I'd stand up before that jerk comes back and pick another fight, though. I pull myself back to my... Oh, ah. Oh, you got ran over again. Huh? What are you doing on the ground? You knocked me down again. Maybe you shouldn't sit on the ground then. I wasn't intentionally sitting on the ground. Whatever, see you, little puppy. I'm, I'm a cat, right? Hey. Ah, I certainly was a weird bunch of cadets. Oh. Oh, cadets, form up by your last name. One of the instructors will take your records folder and lead you inside. I'm Mono, so I get in this line. Where do you have to go stand? Ah, uh, mm, Moonfellow. I'm right behind you. Ah, uh, these are these are houses. I get you. Yeah. Sweet to adventure. Sorry, that's uh, sweet to adventure. Yeah, to adventure. The auditorium is pretty crowded. 
I've heard from the rumor mill that the squads are only nine people large. There must be a ton of them. Humans, pointy-eared elves, winged furry guns, Afrix with those big horns, and even some Lupidi. Lupidi. It's a real myriad of people here. Shy ones, loud ones, people with horrible body odor who have room to themselves. I've never seen this many people in one place before. I wonder if some of these people are going to be my classmates. They're so loud. I hope they get the quiet. I hope I get the quiet, well-disciplined ones. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. Oh, shit, my ears. You scared me. Yeah, I'm good at that. Yeah, I bet. Uh, Yoi looks around at the crowd. A massive grin on her face. This is so totally cool. I can't believe we're actually here. This is so totally cool. I can't believe we're actually here doing this. I wish Bubbles was here. Oh, your cat? Yeah, you'd like him. He's so cute. I can't help but dig ill or overwhelming enthusiasm. Where do we find out what classes we're in? Oh, hey, now, later, I think. Hey, settle down. The headmaster's about to speak. This is going to be so cool. Oh, I hope so. Here's the both of us making it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The headmaster draws on for an hour, to be honest, I didn't really pay much attention. So I'm already exhausted from being run into like three times on the way. I tried to get to the beginning of it, but everything she was talking about was way more rhetorical than actual information. Prestigious, blah blah, hard work and dedication, blah 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 blah. Yoi started to nod off during the middle of it, but I'm not sure awake. Once, one of the instructors caught someone sleeping. He was pulled out of the auditorium to have a brief counselling session so I could hear it clear as day. Well, those instructors certainly have some lungs on them. You would have thought oh, they'd have to stop yelling to breathe, but he kept going for 10 minutes straight. I'm not going to screw up. I'm going to be the best cadet there is and never have to suffer one of these sessions. Ah, at least. I hope not. There's one key message this headmaster's trying to get across. It's this. Screw up and you're gone. No oops and no buts. If you can't hack it, they won't waste time. It's going to be brutal, she says, both academically and physically. I'm not too worried about the physical aspects. You don't live in the wilderness your whole life and end up in bad shape. I've been see. Oh, what have I been up to? I've been living in the wilderness, but somehow I'm going to the military academy. There's a couple of chai big cadets who look like they're going to be having a horrible time. Others, like the tawny lupi to my side, look like they could lift me with one hand. Oh, I'm tired. Is it? Is it? Lupide or Lupidi? I think it's Lupide, because that sounds like Lupin, which sort of sounds like a wolf, right? Ah, oh, I'm tired. When will she stop ranting? While everyone looks enthusiastically for fear of being pulled out, I'm confident nobody actually cares about this speech. I'm hungry. She's got a point. The beginnings of rumbling in my stomach have started. Finally, my travel-worn eyes nearly drooping, the headmaster is finished and we are pointed towards a large board that has a breakdown of all classes. After a few minutes, and with the help of the towering Yui, we find the sheets with our names near the top of the board. Oh my gosh, we're going to be in the same class! At least I know there will be one friendly face. Let's see, me, you, Lena, Ek, Edek, Jade Lopa, Mana Lopa, Soul Hackett, Kika Star, Blade Zenma, and Lotor Quinn were being instructed by Major Jonathan Brumford. Oh, those are the names. Some of them are a mouthful, aren't they? Lena, do you remember what that red-haired girl was when we first arrived? Yeah, uh, no, actually, I totally forgot about her. The pink-haired girl. That's Lena. She seems okay, but a little too high-strung. Oh, uh, hello, Kettle. I'm Pot. Uh, you're black. Huh? Ah, uh, shit. Never mind. The faster we get through this introductory class, the sooner we can get to food. You really have a one-track mind, don't you? Always when it comes to food. Let's get out of uniforms. Hurry and wait. Hurry and wait. We have to yell at all the cadets and hustle them around the gym to get the uniforms before they're late. What? Hurry and wait, hurry and wait. We have to yell at all the cadets and hustle them around the gym to get to uniforms before they're late. What? Uh, 30 minutes later, we're still waiting around for the group of cadets ahead to us to wrap up getting everything sized. When they walk out, proudly wearing their bright red space sector uniforms, I hear an annoying snort from Yoi. What's wrong? That uniform. I know it's a cadet uniform, but why do all the girls have to wear those stupid skirts?
Ah, oh, now you mention it, they are all wearing skirts, weren't they? I know my regulations. Girls can wear both the skirt and the pants. But, but, but the uniform makes us wear uh, the skirts. Yeah, they make us wear the skirts here to ensure u uniformity. Oh, and maybe you just know the answer to this question. Maybe I should get someone to help you? Nah, I'm, I'm sure you can help. Why the hell don't they give us a pant instead of the skirts? But don't we ha have to do a survival exercise? Uh, uh, uh. How am I supposed to run in the woods with a skirt? I don't care if it looks nice professional, it's just not practical. Oh, it's, it, it's pleated. I'm going to have a word with the quartermasters. Pants or bust? Oh, well, what's wrong, Lena? Oh, uh, it's, it's nothing. It, it's not a big deal. I uh, hope, hope it won't be. Does that have anything to do with that, uh, elf? Uh, no, nothing's wrong. I've got everything under control. Alright, then I'm going to see if we can go in now. Uh, thanks. Maybe I was wrong about him and we just got off on the wrong foot. But he's polite to her. That just leaves me alone with the awkward redhead. Ah, hello. Oh. <laughs> hello. Hi. Sorry about you, she's just really excited about pants. It, it's okay. Lana, could you please gather up the cadets? They said they are ready for us now. Oh, sorry, relief. There needs to be a. F they need. The need to figure out a topic of conversation has passed. I have one ready for the next time I meet her. Well, hey, hey everyone. A little quiet, Lena. Let me. Say so thanks. Oi, hey, get your butts over here. That means you as well, little Miss Wolfie. Oh, okay, I'm not a cat. God damn it, I'm not a cat. Oh, it takes all the fun out of it. I, I was going. Hurry up, we're not waiting all day for you. An hour of needles, constant trying and retrying, and a couple of long rants from the quartermasters, but I'm finally out of the mess with my new shiny uniform. The boot shine with the glaive that would blind anyone looking directly at it. Out of all the wonderful pieces, I absolutely adore the boots. The tie is a bit tight, the shirt is a bit baggy, and the skirt is a little bit short, but they're all mine. Glance here at the reflection on the window, I catch a Katajian officer is looking back at me. Father would be so proud if he could see me. Yeah, hey, very nice, very nice. You're prettier, if you don't mind me saying. Thanks. Uh. Thanks, I like it. It's kind of strange seeing everyone wearing the same thing, but it means we're on our way to graduating. Right on. Say, so, yeah, a bit of a personal question. But did they have everything in your size? The tops, yeah, but they had a few skirts that were barely in my size and accommodating for my tail. They barely managed to tailor one to work for me. I can't help that my tail is super fluffy. Wouldn't want it any other way. Me neither, what about you? There were some minor problems, but they worked themselves out. They didn't have any pants in kid sizes. That's not funny. I told you in there that I'm old enough to be here. They weren't expecting toddlers to join. <laughs> At least I got pants. Oh, uh oh. I can't believe they wouldn't issue me them. They said that if they, if I wanted to wear standard issue pants, I'd have to buy my own once I got to the first duty station. It's not fair. You can have my pants if you want. I'm not a pedophile. That was a lame joke you were trying to make. I, oh, it wasn't a joke. I, I, it's okay, you eh? You can't be so timid, Faye. The line's in the sand. <laughs> what are you whining about now? Now, ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so so kicker is the kicker is the um fucking um, oh, 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 Uji summer bullshit, which I cannot do. I really can't do. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, um, uh, what are you whining about now? I don't want to wear this skirt. They told me I could wear pants because of how important I am, but I decided to not to lord it all over you too much. I don't think that's how it works. What would you know? It's because they didn't have any normal kitsune skirts in your tiny tail size, did they? It's, it's not fun to make fun of short people. Uh, nor is your face, but we put up with it just the same. You, you're not nice when you're upset, are you? Is there anything else we have to do, or can I go home and get changed out of this? 
uh, we still have to join our class before they release us. Ah! You should go home. That outfit is so unflattering on you. I'm, I'm leaving. Shouldn't you uh, get it? permission? <laughs> I bet you she's going to be gone by the end of the first week. Why are you picking on her? She's obviously upset. I didn't mean to be mean. I meant to be accurate. Look terrible on her. She, if she can't take it, she shouldn't dish it out. Still, aren't we supposed to be a single supporting team? At the end of the day, either you pass or you fail. Everyone else passes and you still fail, you still fail. Why are you so bitter? I'm practical. Ah, I almost left without my cute new wolf companion. Come on, Faye, classroom, ho! 